arguing. There are two types of arguing. There's there's one that's like higher vib higher vibrational or low vibrational, or else you can call them two different things. So one is arguing and one is not arguing. It seems people have a different perspective on this. The arguing I'm talking about is when there's like destruction, war, mayhem, violence. The arguing that leads on to the lower, next lower vibrational things such as like even rape, domestic violence, domestic abuse, battery, assault, aggression, um, serious like physical stuff as well as like serious character assassination, insults, deep proper emotional trauma as well as even physically dangerous or physically traumatic stuff too. So this arguing, this video is about how to avoid this type of arguing and generally how to how to actually communicate in a way where you don't need to actually argue and you can avoid this type of low vibrational arguing which of course we can learn from absolutely everything in life so everything can serve a deeper good or a purpose but at the same time we don't necessarily have to go to the lowest waters the lowest levels in order to learn a lesson we can simply also with ma with skill knowledge wisdom and a mastery to navigate life in the higher vibrational echelons like angels don't need to argue with each other to get to learn or get across the point so this video is about learning skill so you can discuss and um, get across information and receive information in a way that's much more harmonious much more productive faster more efficient better more healing more energetically lo loving more towards love and togetherness instead of arguments that can often be completely divisive Sep it's based on the energy of this literally like this this destruction like or separation de-unifying separating deconstructive energy whereas vibrationally energetically love uh, is more of a uniting thing and uh, mechanically descriptively speaking it helps to heal it brings together it constructs it builds it whereas the arguing i'm talking about and and stuff like hate they do the opposite so that often these type of arguments can be filled with hate venom absolute triggers and serious like hardcore unpleasant stuff which we don't necessarily want and we don't really need most of the time similarly we don't need to go out and start getting into physical fights like trying to punch and beat up people just to get out our anger just other ways and that's what this video is about so <clears throat> the main way we can choose not to go into the deeper aspects of low vibrational arguments is simply to be aware of what it is and ask yourselves what do i want to experience in life this is one of the most important questions that i've been asking myself lately and it's very pivotal it it it, 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 it goes into it permeates everything such as if you want to do you want to like talk to somebody or go someplace ask yourself what do you want to experience today and what do you want to experience in life what do you want to experience this year because you are and we are all creators here okay we're physical embodied um spiritual creators and it's all about the experience it's it's not about succeeding or failing in a purpose there's no purpose other than the purpose and the meaning that we give to something so our purpose my purpose right now is making a video your purpose is uh looking at this video the next moment my purpose could be to lie on the ground in the grass and do some yoga or do some stretching or body weights or whatever the case may be climbing a tree like i did just a little while ago <laughs> So we all have different, there's no like intrinsic meaning. So, so this applies to arguments because you want to ask yourself, how much am I willing to tolerate or accept or allow this energy into my life? This feeling, this emotion, this physical experience. So if you really get clear on what you don't want and what you want, then life becomes clear and direct of the path forward. So for example, you can simply say no to arguing. You can stop feeding the argument with your own device of judgmental, um, heavy, hurtful uh, words and behavior. You can help speak words. Words are so, 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 so powerful and important. They are very molding of our reality. So think carefully and be mindful of the words that you speak and say. And be careful also sometimes of not saying things off the tip of your tongue, you know. Be careful in what you say and don't say. Speak words that do much more uniting and understanding and nurturing and building. 
Um, you don't have to be extremely doing this 100% of the time. It's sometimes you might want to mix in like being fun, play and more loose with your words and less mindful as long as it's coming from a more higher vibrational like light energy because then you know already by how you feel that is more likely to be less harmful but still you just have to be a bit wise and careful you don't want to be just like recklessly saying things that could trigger people if it's a sensitive subject and you're having a laugh so you have to be careful about when you're feeling good you also have to be careful about how others are feeling and what their response may be because how it will affect them so in relationships, the number one thing really regarding staying in a relationship or having a good relationship is communication. And but fundamental to communication also is knowing your desires, your wishes and your wants, what you want in life, what you want to experience or not. So ask yourself that question is very, 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 very powerful thing to do. So communication. It's all about energy and vibration. Know your vibration. Know when you're sad or annoyed or triggered. And just be careful not to, not to be violent with that in a destructive manner. But it's okay, I'll sometimes like heated debates, now let's get into that, heated debates or discussions or passionate sharing of viewpoints. This can be good. But you want to be aware of your vibration. This is the most important thing. It's all vibrational. What's the energy in the air? What's the atmosphere? How are you feeling? What is the atmosphere in your body, in your emotions? Um, are you enjoying the conversation? If you're not enjoying something, ask yourself, well, firstly, obviously, do I want to experience this? And secondly, you don't because you're not enjoying it and you feel bad. Ask yourself, well, why? And what else do I want to do instead? What other thing would I like to create? Because we are divine creators. So it's extremely important. This is like a deep, 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 deep thread and message in this video topic. The fact that we are creators. So at the end of the day, the fundamental thing is we can choose what we want to experience in a multitude of different ways. So when it comes to arguments, we can simply leave it or say no if we see or feel one approaching. We don't need to feed it. And secondly, if we want, we can say nothing which will which will generally help to stop an argument that's that's brewing like a hurricane, like a, like a bad storm. <laughs> which is hard to zip our tongue sometimes because we always want to have the last word and to be right, generally speaking. And sometimes it's okay to want to have the last word and other times it just brings more chaotic chaos. So just be careful. Um, so, of course, we can learn from abuse, getting our arm like chopped off or whatever, like getting beaten up or beating someone up. It's, it's very not pleasant, it's not really very nice, but we can learn and we can transform. But we can also learn from passionate and heated discussions. Um, depending on how you feel, that is how you know whether or not it's good for you or what you want at that moment. Because we can navigate the waters of unpleasantness and lower vibrations for as long as we want and anyone can argue that it's good for us like we learn something and we exchange ideas but what i'm saying is we don't need to go to those waters we can stay up here and still learn and be better and more efficient and more enjoyable and feel love and feel togetherness and feel a sense of like happy accomplishment of sharing in a tranquil happy supportive kind nurturing nourishing nourishing way you know and this feels good and then we can say okay well i want to experience this type of connection with people and it feels good it's less based on me being right or wrong or them being right or wrong and it's more nourishing and pleasant to my heart to my soul to my spirit to my physical body so that's the message of this video also know how you feel and know what you want <laughs> and of course we can also communicate um, how we feel and what we want to others, and but we can we can try to do this without blaming or criticizing. And um, when people are doing things we don't like, of course we can share that we don't like it. We don't have to avoid saying we don't like it. There's a spiritual rule saying like somebody made rules. You have to ask people who makes these rules. Like the Buddha's teaching, my favorite teaching, probably question everything, including him, including me. <laughs> 
question question everything do you feel questioning everything is good or bad i think it's really good personally but you can think differently if you want because so, there's so many new age and spiritual facebook pictures and one-liners there's all sorts of stuff and if you don't unravel them and look deeper it's too restrictive sometimes like they say don't speak your truth even if your voice shakes but there's a time where you don't want to be speaking your truth if your voice is shaking and there's a time where it's much better to get out of having a trembling shaking voice and to center and raise your vibration and then you don't have then you can say what you want to say or something totally different and better but you're not shaking anymore you're not trembling in fear or worry or like confusion so you know, if you keep following these one-liners, you you have to think for yourself. If you keep following those one-liners, you'll be just, you'll be like a sheep. Like, no offense, like, I love sheep. and But you can't be following people, guys. Like, watching this video is about your personal empowerment. I don't expect anyone to follow me blindly. Like, not to follow me. and Or not to take what I say as 100% accurate 100% of the time. You have, we have to find our own power as a powerful divine creator that we each individually and uniquely are so as i'll say it one more time you have to know how you feel and you have to know what you want so if that will determine that's your truth that's living your truth and that will mean if you decide to go to the coffee or to play tennis or to the park or if you go on holiday with these people or not it's all about if you feel like you liked it and you want it and it's fascinating, interesting, exciting and intriguing and you want to or you just don't want to or maybe you're tired or you're just not interested in those them. You're entitled to everything, you know, you're entitled to not liking and liking things. You, nobody has the right to force you to do stuff and you don't have the right to force others to do stuff. We all have the right to say no, but we don't have the right to force another person to say yes. That's very important. We all have the right to say no. No, I, I don't want what you want right now. But nobody has the right to force a yes onto you. So, so they can say, yes, you got to do, you have to do this. Or you can say, yes, you got to do this, you got to do that. Like, because they have the right to say no. So, so um, if you do find yourself in a, in a dangerous situation, regarding the arguments it's good to seek help support and get out of the danger zone especially if you're a woman just getting hardcore practical here like this there's relationships that are of a, a low vibration if that's i don't want to sound judgmental as if low is bad of a certain slow vibration okay and there's hurt and danger can really happen so for anyone men women especially if you're a woman be careful seek help seek friends family guidance counselors or healers seek help and support and safety and that goes to anyone in life don't put yourself in situations where you feel very uncomfortable or unsafe or even really generally uncomfortable unless it's tolerable and you feel it's for some good and or maybe you're gently expanding your comfort zones that's always good to expand our comfort zones if we're in the mood um, so getting back to um discussing yeah one just one little bit before i end the video just make sure you respect people and think of others possibly as your, your family or a friend family member this can apply to being on Facebook or on Twitter or having internet battles <laughs> or obviously in person of course especially care about another person's feelings and think what it's like to be them look out for them even if they're not looking out for you because you know at the end of the day I'm talking about purity here pure vibrations and angelicness almost Christ consciousness if you want to put it that way Buddha consciousness we're talking about a consciousness where your heart is at the forefront of things beyond ideas beyond right and wrong and beyond concepts and ideas you care about heart love and connection you care about the other person you want them to be happy and you want to help them not to be sad you want to enhance and enrich 
them and their life's experience. You don't want to hurt them, wound them, play around with their emotions. I, I find that very sad, you know, I just... This would be the most emotional, like, I feel now during this video. Because I really actually care for people. And I don't like people to be picked on or hurt or made fun of. Scorned put down, demoralized, their hopes dashed in any cruel type of way. I like people and I try my hardest myself to be as pure and good and kind <laughs> as I can, you know. <laughs> this is the most like sort of bright and inspirational now I feel. If anyone can see yours you probably notice. <laughs> this is a very passionate and touching subject of me to want to uplift to bring out the best, enhance, make someone's life better. Because we're going to die at some stage. Everybody in human history as a human has died and we have. We go back into the ground of Mother Earth, Gaia, the beautiful spirit of Gaia. And then there's the sun, the other cosmic star that's out there, our closest star, a big ball of flame called the sun coming forth. It's like the man and the woman, like the sun is like the golden fire of male energy. And Earth is more like the kind of like the yin, female, nurturing, growing energy, like the way women grow up babies and they homely and they have a home for the baby. Earth is like our home, you know? Gaia is our home. <laughs> so I love Earth, I love nature. I love the mountains. If I can just like show you. It's like a lovely mountain over there. My back garden. And it's just all lovely. So I'll leave you with this video to say hope you have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this video and do share it for other people if you've liked it. And if you've liked it, give it a, give it a like. Let me know if you've watched it to the very end. And if you have watched it to the very end, which many people won't, but some will. And tell me that you've watched it. Maybe leave the word peace, love and light or just one of those words peace, love or light and then I'll know you've watched it and just for fun okay just for connection and subscribe if you're new and leave us a message or comment and check out my links below and I'd love to hear from you and send you peace, love and light and your special, precious, important, main, main experience for you just what I experience is for me and what you experience is for you so what do you want to experience before you pass on our time here is limited, so it's very important to know, to go out there and create the life that we want. So much love, namaste, peace, love, passion, joy, excitement and light be with you and everybody today and always. Owen Fox here saying goodbye, in case you didn't know my name. Okay, bye.